Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know it's been a while. Uh, I've been busy with school and, you know, things have just been crazy uh, in terms of, you know, school and world events, <coughs> pandemic, <coughs> war. <coughs> um, but yeah, uh, despite that, I've managed to keep up with my hobby and I've added quite a more few vehicles to my collection and you guys will see a collection video later in the coming days um, but anyways to start off with the with these new wave of videos so I'm gonna do a quick uh, Brickmania P47 D23 Thunderbolt review now this is uh, Brickmania's latest Thunderbolt they've done uh, Thunderbolts in the past, uh, they really haven't looked that great to be honest, um, but this one, it just, it looks great. Now this is a, uh, this is a earlier variant, this is the, uh, D23, um, which is the Razorback. Uh, later, I think in, starting in the D25, they would go to, uh, Bubble Top, so this is sort of the latest uh, Razorback version you can get. Um, but yeah, this is based off of the 332nd Fighter Group, which is famous for being uh, all African American and also for their combat record during the war. Uh, they are mostly famous for flying P-51 uh, Mustangs, uh, which makes sense because you can see them in Red Tails, which is a horrible movie. And you can also see them in a movie uh, called The Tuske Tuskegee Airmen. I haven't seen that movie, um, but I've heard that it's better than uh, the one made by George Lucas. Um, but yeah, they also, so flying P-51s and P-40s, they also threw, flew P-47s. So this group, uh, you know, flew... Almost all of the main American fighters. I don't know about P-38s. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't want to say anything incorrect right now. Um, but yeah, uh, looking at this P-47, it just looks really good. It's really, it's really neat. It's very strong. It's stable. The, uh, the uh, technique here for the front, uh, like... Like the front engine is, is really awesome. It's really cool. Not going to tell you how they did that, but it's pretty clever. Um, but what impressed me more was their technique for the uh, machine guns there. Now, I won't tell you how they did this because I don't want to spoil their secrets. Um, but the way they did these machine guns, it's just, it's just amazing. It's really clever. Like IQ 300 stuff. Um, yeah, also comes with the uh, rockets, a uh, bomb, and it comes with a custom minifig. Alright, so here's the custom minifigure that comes with the kit. Um, obviously, he is an African American. Uh, this kit was released with their wave of uh, African American themed uh, World War II kits. Uh, in February, which is Black History Month, so obviously he's going to be uh, the appropriate skin color. Um, but it's just it's just really cool, and I think that wave that they did was really cool, uh, showing off the Red Ball Express, which was hugely uh, important during the war, um, and also units I haven't really heard about, like the uh, the Black Panthers, that t uh, armored unit. Um, and of course, they made a Red Tails thing as well to go along with it. And this uh, this guy is really sleek. He has 360 degree printing, um, and I just I just really like him. Just top notch, A plus minifigure. Another thing about the uh, Brickmania P47D here is all of the. Uh, the insignia and the stuff you see, it's all printed. There are no stickers. 
which is amazing. I don't know how long they've been, they've been doing this, but in the past they would do some printed stuff and then some stickers, which was okay, but it was kind of annoying. Um, but here it's just all printing, and I don't think that's a, you know, that's just something they did on their own. I think that's in a uh, reaction to Brick Veteran, uh, who are, Brick Veteran is like, kind of a indirect com competitor to Brickmania. They focus on very high quality and Brickmania sees that and Brickmania um, is reacting by just going full on printing and just more and more quality, which is good. I really like competition. I think it's great. Um, but yeah, let's do some comparisons. I have two more Thunderbolts I can compare with this. All right, here's the uh, second Thunderbolt I have. It's also a uh, Razorback. It is uh, NK Custom Bricks uh, P47D Thunderbolt Snafu. Um, and, you know, I do have a review of this on my channel, and I think at the time I thought it was amazing. Uh, but now, looking, looking back on it, it is a really, really chunky boy. And the front, like, the front engine just does not look that great. It's very blocky, um, it's not that clever, um, but it's pretty cool how he captured the, the checker patterns. Um, but if you also like look at the wing, it's very thick and it was like a basic way, like it's put on it in, in a basic way. There's no like clever techniques in the machine guns, they're like spread out, it doesn't really look that great. And uh, the problem with uh, NK Custom Bricks uh, P47 is not only is it very chunky and it's the largest, it also uh, uses stickers. A lot of stickers, which is, in fact, all stickers. There's no custom printing, which is very disappointing. Um, so that kind of reduces the, the quality of the model. Um, but I still think it's good. It's still a... Uh, not bad by any means, but when compared to the uh, competition, uh, when compared to the latest Brickmania P47 model, it is just, nah, uh, it is, just can't compete, man. But uh, anyways, let's go and get the uh, last P47 I have to compare with it. All right, so this is where the competition really, really heats up. So on the left, you have Brickmania's uh, P47D, and on the right, you have Brick Veterans' uh, latest P47. They originally had a P47 Razorback earlier. I didn't manage to get that, but I managed to get their uh, their special one, the camo version. This is uh, based on a, a real-life uh, pilot. Um, and it's also a uh, bubble top P47. Um, but once again, you know, with Brick Veteran quality, it's just, it's just all printing. And it is just really, really, really nice. This was released uh, before the Brickmania uh, P47, and this still just has way more printing. There's printing on the on the sides, you know, on the propeller. Um, you got the numbers, the markings, and you even have printing on the bottom wing there, which is really cool. Um, and yeah, it's just just the Brick Veteran P47. It's absolutely amazing. Um, the front, whoops. The front here does not look as good as the uh, Brickmania P47, in my opinion. I think the Brickmania P47 uses a better technique for that. Um, however, it's, it doesn't look that bad. Like, it actually still looks good. Um, but the problem with the Brick Veteran uh, P47 is the machine guns. Now, you see the machine guns here? It's just like a really basic technique. Um, I mean, it's still a cool technique, but, you know, it's very obvious, and they're, like, spread out, and the binoculars make it look very obvious. Like, it just doesn't look that good. While the Brickmania P47 
the Brickmania P47, oops, and the machine guns on the Brickmania P47 are just really slick. They just stick out, and they're very close, and yeah, I just love it. So, overall, who, which one do I prefer? I actually prefer the Brick Veteran P47 because it is smaller. It's more closer to actual scale. The thing with Brickmania is that they say they build at 135th, but they always kind of build it slightly bigger than that just so they can uh, fit minifigures in there more easily. And also, you know, for stability and stuff. Uh, but with Cody Ocell, with Brick Veteran, he, he sacrifices that a little bit and he builds more to actual scale which I really like and I really appreciate, so, so yeah. Um, yeah, anyways, that's my uh, review for the Brickmania P47D 23 Racerback Thunderbolt. Um, and I'll have about two more review videos coming up, and then I'll have a collection video coming after that. So, anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And I will see you later.